Uh, so my area of research is automated planning. Uh, it's the study of trying to implement agents where you can uh, tell them what's true or false in the world, give them a goal they need to achieve, and the actions that they're able to take. And the goal of automated planning is to program agents that can take the sequence of actions, figure it out uh, by themselves in order to achieve their goal. Uh, so there's a lot of variations of that, but broadly speaking, that's, that's my area. Uh, well, the Queen's School of Computing uh, is going through a very exciting uh, change at the moment. I'm part of a cohort of about four or five different professors that were hired and there's more coming uh, in the future. And so it's a very exciting time for, for the School of Computing with all of these uh, new professors joining the faculty. So lately my research interest has been in model understanding um, and so how you might specify the models for the agents that need to act autonomously in the world. Uh, that's been a uh, largely understudied uh, area in the field of automated planning and so there's a lot of untapped potential there for this. Um, I think the biggest changes for the field of automated planning is really to have the research democratized and opened up for other fields of research to use the techniques that are developed within uh, the planning community. Um, and so we're just now starting to see uh, some of the techniques opened up for other people in other research fields to use it and without necessarily being practitioners of automated planning themselves. Um, so it's hard to predict where uh, a subfield of artificial intelligence is going to be in 10 years, but I think primarily having other researchers get access to this technology is where it's headed. So over the last few years, uh, spending time in industry, I've really realized that a lot of the focus in the field of automated planning is on solving the problems that you would pose to an agent, but uh, really the difficulty isn't there. The planners are very capable at solving what we would want to give it. It's in acquiring the models in the first place. So my research has sort of shifted to model understanding and model acquisition and how do we sort of extract the model from the human users that want to use these systems. So this has been sort of a, a shift of my research in the last couple of years. I think a, a very successful graduate student has two key properties. One is a, a drive and a passion to learn and discover. Uh, it, it's, it's incumbent on a, a graduate student to discover things and push the envelope in what it is that we know and understand as part of their uh, dissertation. And so this has to be a, a driving force for what it is that they're doing. Uh, and the other is uh, a passion and drive to always improve and optimize their own process. And so, uh, trying to improve how they work and how they learn and to always uh, try and sort of reflect and introspect on what it is that they're doing there. I think this makes for very successful graduate students. Regardless of the area, I think computing can uh, really offer an awful lot to, uh, to somebody's expertise. And so, I mean, if you add computational in front of any subject area, it sort of opens the door to a, a broad range of techniques that you can use to improve your uh, sort of uh, work day to day. Um, what can you expect by studying computing? I think uh, it opens the door to a, a new way of thinking and critical thinking for problem solving. Um, and I think it uh, really shifts how you approach difficult problems in the day-to-day -day work that you would have. I think what I like most about computing is the broad applicability of it. The skills that you would learn in the, the, the area of computing are, are really critical thinking and problem solving skills that are applicable outside of just computing, your day to day life or different professions. Um, these are really things that uh, translate across a broad range of areas and so uh, I think those types of ideas brought out of computing is what I enjoy most. I think a big area recently that I've uh, taken an interest in is philosophy. Um, so sort of the idea of paradoxes and how you might uh, rectify those paradoxes in a mathematical model of the world and thinking. Um, there's an awful lot that philosophy can offer computing and vice versa as well. And so this is a, a recent area of interest of mine. I 
think my two biggest hobbies are coffee and music. So I have a lot of different ways to make coffee, some at home, some at the office. Um, and music, I grew up playing music, uh, saxophone, mandolin, a little bit of piano, and, and that's probably my biggest hobby outside of work.